Alright, so we're back and at the end of part 32, I obviously want to face that final trainer and got iron. So, I'm going to use that iron right now. Iron obviously boosts your attack, so I'm going to do that on a... Uh, let's see what would make sense. I'm just going to use it on big bird. Or defense. What was I thinking? Calcium is the attack, so... Alright, um, I'm going to chop down this little bush. Doesn't really matter what you use the stat boosters on, anyways. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm gonna try to capture Venonat. Uh, I do not have Venonat, which is actually kind of surprising that I don't. Um, you're gonna run into some bell sprouts, apparently. Uh, you can also get weeping bells here, so just be patient. Venonats are a 20% uh, percent occurrence rate, so it is quite possible that I do see one here in the next couple minutes. So just bear with me. And they hate how those bushes regenerate right there, right away. You just gotta go all the way through Pokemon, get ducks out, and do whatever you need, uh, chop another tree down, so that's kind of a pain. I guess what I could have done is just ran into a Venonat off screen, but uh, not so intelligent right now. Come on, come on, Venonat. It's my lucky day, jackpot, right? No, it's not. I want a fur ball. I don't want a wispy weed. I want a fur ball. So, um, not really looking forward to the next couple parts, gonna be honest with you. Um, but Future City will be nice. Going into the Safari Zone, whole slew of items that I'm gonna be getting. It's like Silphco all over again. And obviously the same goes for uh, new Pokemon that I'm gonna be able to capture as well. But once we're done with Future City, things are really gonna speed up for us. Uh, we're gonna jump right into Seafoam Island, I believe, going through that stuff. Um, we only have two gyms left, which are Cinnabar Island 7. Um, and Viridian City 8, so it's going to be a lickety split before the end. Obviously, I'm getting going to have to prep a little bit. I'm going to have to go to the power plant sometime in there, but do a little prep um, before I try to capture my Articuno and Moltres and Zapdos, because that's, that's going to be an interesting operation. So, come on, Bell Sprouts, Get out of here. There's no way that a 20% occurrence rate doesn't occur sometime in two and a half minutes. Were you ever going to see a Venonat in my lifetime? Is it like Sasquatch? No, it's not. It's a fur ball with beady eyes. Really? Bell sprouts everywhere. What is the occurrence rate for the bell sprout here? Like 70%? I'm kind of doubting it is. I'm doubting it very high, heavily. No, Pidgeys. I already caught one of you. You should be a Pidgeotto anyways. So I don't even know why you exist as a level 25 Pidgey. It's not like you're going to be learning any better. There we go. Black Furball. Level 24, the lowest level that you could capture it, but I don't care whatsoever what level it is at. Um, and I'm going to use my Great Balls right away. I'm not going to risk it on anything. Boom, caught my vent on that. So that's it. We're out in three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. A little bit long. About three minutes long, I'd say. Lives in the shadows of tall trees where it eats insects. It's attracted by light at night. That's why it's a gnat. So we're going to transfer it away. And I do have Jolteon in, the, in my, uh, my uh, Bill's box. So that's why Jolteon's not with me. I'm not going to be training it up anytime soon anyways. Because I have uh, five other Pokemon before it. So now we're just going to continue ahead south now on Silence Bridge. Heading on to Route 13, and those are all the new, new Pokemon that I could catch right now. Could catch a Weeping Bell, but I'll just turn my Bell Spread up soon. Um, so this is Route 13, north of Silence Bridge, playing in chronological order, obviously. And we're going to face off with these uh, duo tr dual trainers. Do you want a uh, Pokemon with me? You, is that what you said? Whatever that means. So this would be prime for a dual Pokemon battle right now in the second and the third generation. But we are not in the third generation, so we're just gonna have to live with what we got. And down goes Clefairy. Assuming I might see another Clefairy. Based on no I'm me off. That kinda makes sense too. He's a Whitney fanatic right here. And no payday for me. But experience points for me. So beauty goes down. It's all it's over already? I don't know anything about Pokemon, I just like cool ones. Well, you're going to have to work harder at that. Sure, I'll play with you. Um, the Clefairies and Meowth are not cool ones. The same. 
try to burst your bubble. Rattata is definitely not cool. I guess the, the, the first trainer I face is a little bit cooler than you. Down goes rat number one. You can see another rat come being spewed out by this beauty. Oh, well, close, a mouse. And should I use bubble beam? No, I'm just going to use bite. I haven't used bubble beam in a while and not had the greatest opportunity to do so. And I can't wait to get surf, to say the least. Because I had two very similar moves and I'll probably be getting rid of bite next because body slam is more powerful and I'm willing to take the risk of less accuracy with more power there. Oh, you little brute. I wonder which is stronger, male or female Pokemon. I don't really know. I don't think it matters. Alright, so... See what this trainer has to offer. Wow, your badges are too cool. How many do I have? Can you count? I can't even count them all. I can't even count them all one on one hand. Gotta use the two hands. I got one for the thumb, too, so... Pretty amazing, aren't I? So... Polywag's gonna have no time to hypnosi me. Bringing out a second Polywag now, that is. And um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get each of my Pokemon up to level 48 or to level 47 before I transfer out to train the next Pokemon. Still not sure on that. You got those badges from Gym Leaders, I know. Well, if you stop standing in between these little bars for your life, you'll be able to get one too. It's really not that hard. You have better Pokemon. In the first three gym leaders. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. We got all these fun loving cutesy trainers here on Route 14 or Route 13. I don't know how they can live up to it. Probably fairly faint of heart and you're right next to Silence Bridge. Don't make sense. So just for my own entertainment and Pidgey's own freezing delight I'm gonna kill it with a ice beam and I probably did kill it. Um, bring out another one? No. We're gonna just have to settle for a Meowth. Uh, I'm going to use Bite. Bite against Bite. And there goes Meowth number two. So we are in part 33. I don't believe I ever said that or announced it to you guys. So just figured I'd say that right now. Uh, I don't really know how many parts it's going to end up being. But we're going to take our time. I do have a lot of Pokemon training myself that I have to take care of off screen at some point. I have about 47 Pokemon. And obviously I'm not going to be able to catch every single one. But I will be catching um, all the possible ones or training up to all the possible ones that you can get in blue. Um, so I'm going to have to take care of that at some point. Alright, so I've had enough of that Pidgeotto and enough of this trainer. Level 46, even better. And Junior Trainer goes down. Wow, you totally won. Alright, so I already faced these two uh, people. And my phone, I'm getting football updates right now, college football updates right now, so bear with me if my phone keeps going off the hook with different updates and it's ringing and stuff from text messages so just bear with me um, alright so there is the calcium there are two items you can get here on this route um, both of them are hidden actually kind of at the end end of these uh, end of these mazes um, they're both hidden in little gaps at the end that you're gonna have to I don't know press on some of the railings or press on uh, whatever is around you uh, in order to get to it, and I don't believe anything is in there other than a patch of grass So I'm just gonna ignore that Or maybe not actually now that I think about it a ditto might be on uh, uh, in this patch So I'm gonna check this out really quick See what I cannot find in here if I do run into a ditto It's a 5% occurrence weight. I will notify you of that, but I'm only gonna I'm gonna try out five different Pokemon here see how I do but um, then we're just going to keep moving on Route 13. Keeping it like that. So let's see what we got here. No, just a wispy old bell sprout. Pretty good levels though. If you, I mean, if you're looking for a grass type Pokemon late in the game and your Pokemon, you don't look to train your Pokemon too high to other level, but you just need a grass type Pokemon for whatever reason. Uh, and this is the third Pokemon, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jet from this little patch. Um, you can come over here and maybe get yourself a bell sprout, even a weeping bell. So I'm gonna take out ducks and cut away with this bush. All right, so I'm just gonna keep heading west right now in this railing area, the maze. Um, it is kind of a pain. I really have no idea why they came up with this idea. The wind's blowing my way. For so he's probably a bird keeper. Uh, for an area in Kanto, I mean, I don't really understand the point. 
of having this type of maze, but it's kind of it's so much of a nuisance and it's not original. I feel like it wouldn't occur at all. So, it's like those um, getting in line at the bank or something with all those. Uh, or I forgot what they're, they're like mini partition things. That's basically what these guys are. So we're gonna have to face five different feeble uh, bird Pokemon here and against this bird keeper. Pidgeys, Sparrows, Galore, and I would be much excited, very excited if I were to see a Pharaoh or um, a Firo or um, Pidgeotto, but not gonna happen. Might as well use Bite, share the PP a little bit. Down goes Spiro, and its final Pokemon is coming up now, so yet again. Fight against another Spiro. I'm gonna bite its bird's wings off. Some nice blue cheese dressing or buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce. Our wings taste delightful. Alright, the wind did turn. Uh, if you keep heading this way, it appears that you'll be walking for quite some time. So I'm just gonna fight this guy. You need to use TMs. Good TMs to teach good moves to Pokemon. Uh, some of that's true. Or you just capture good Pokemon. I like the days in the first and second generation when there weren't a ridiculous amount of TMs out there that you had to remember. I like the simple 50 TMs that uh, we know from the first and second generations. I just like that good base number. Uh, it's easy to manage, and that's just why I love the first and second generations more than. A lot of the other generations. So let's see if we can get. It. Okay, I, I I can take a Pidgeotto. I don't mind a Pidgeotto. And there goes another Pidgeotto for this final Pokemon in a Bird Keeper's batch of birds. Batch of birds, not as good as my Big Bird. Not good enough. You're right. You have some HMs, right? Pokemon can't ever forget those moves. And I would like the Fly HM, which I will be getting soon. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. And I'm getting sick of these bird keepers here. Very sick of them. And you're going to continue to face them even on, I believe, like Route 15, you're going to see them. Maybe Route 14. I might be mistaken. Whatever. And we're going to bite some more chicken wings. But Pidgey, fit, quite, uh, quicker than me, even though it's 20 levels lower quick attack I've overrides it apparently and we are crawling our way to a level 47 so I would like to get up to level 50 after Fuchsia City with at least Blastoise um, and you can kind of reorganize later in the game what order you want to train your your team up in uh, uh, what I mean by that is you're not gonna run into situations where you're going to need to type match but it makes it a lot easier to just type match uh, later on as your Pokemon need easy experience points to decrease the amount of time you need to spend in training up your Pokemon because it just gets real laborious later on in the game. They need to learn better moves. Darn right. So all these guys are talking about is better moves, blaming their poor Pokemon on not having good enough moves. So talk to this biker. What are you looking at? What are... What are? Is that even a word? Like, that's not appropriate um, contraction there. So coughing, spice things up a little bit, but I'm gonna bite, burst its bubble. Gaseous, all I'm bloated now, and with coughing's good defense. Ah, oh, frick! Now I got smogged and poisoned. So that's it. Finally, why can't I've got that critical hit a little bit earlier? So if I can take. Each of their remaining Pokemon out here in one hit. I won't have to worry about uh, the poison take. Oh, dang it. And that's nine right there. That's a pretty good chunk of HP. Um, and then we're going to finish off this coughing now. So, down goes that coughing. And let's see if he pulls out a muck or a grimer or a cough. Another. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm going to use Ice Beam to try to learn from my mistakes, see if this Ice Beam can't take this coughing out all. Okay, so the coughing isn't indestructible against my Blastoise. And I'm just going to use my Antidote or whatever I have. If I don't have anything uh, in, my po in my pocket to 
heal myself other than the full restore that is. Alright, so I do have those antidotes still, beautiful. And I'm just gonna make it to level 48 with Blastoise, because, you know what, I might as well. So, I'm gonna head down here. I could pull out my bike, but I guess I'm not in the mood to use the bike. And I believe these are the two trainers that I previously faced, yes. It's good to know, good to know. Good to get them off my plate. And I'll face this guy now. So, just a slew of trainers uh, that I can't figure out who I faced or what. But, um, hopefully we can get done with this maze before the end of this part. Because it's tough jumping in from part to part uh, in situations like this. If you're in, like, a dungeon, so, so to speak, or something like that. Uh, you can try to figure out where you are. You get all discombobulated uh, with about five minutes left, it looks like we have. So, now goes that first Pidgey, and I predict that we'll see some more Pidgeys. Uh, this route must set the record for the most bird Pokemon used by trainers. The bird Pokemon ratio used by trainers in the entire game. Um, it, I just would have to think. Or, not in the entire game, entire Pokemon series, that would be. Alright, so this Spearow should go down pretty easily as well. Bite it up. Chicken wings tasting good today. Stuffing myself on chicken wings. Not turtle soup. Oh, yes! Another Fero. Now all that's left to see a Pidgeot. Oh, wait, I have one. Don't need to worry about that. I could go bird on bird right now, but that's just not that fun. Uh, maybe for them. Gives them more of a chance, but not for me. So, out of power. If you're an electric type trainer, you could say that. I wish I could fly like Pidgey and Pidgeot. Oh, not Pidgeot, though. No, not Pidgeot. Alright, so another item should be in here. Alright, there's my PP up, so I'm gonna find a use for these two guys. Calcium increasing attack, PP up, obviously increasing PP up of a certain move. So, um, I'm gonna don this on. Alright, so, what? What am I. Okay, Calcium Special. Okay, I'm getting these all screwed up right now. Iron's defense. Calcium is special. Protein's attack. Thank you. Carbos is speed. All right, got it figured out. Just jumping on things. Assume making assumptions here. So I really don't have anything I want to use this PP up on, so I'm just going to have to store it for right now, unfortunately. Um, and there's not too many items left before me and between me and Fuchsia City. So looks like I have about two and a half minutes remaining in this part so I'm just gonna keep skedaddling al along this this maze of a route try to figure out where I am where I'm going where I want to be and please excuse my phone if you are continuing to hear that phone go off in the background so uh, if there's anything down here no I'm just gonna face this fi final guy in this maze face two more guys in this part TMs are on sale and selling them but only a few people have HMs uh, probably me and some of the who else? The warden and red probably. Select few. Crowd the marines. The HM owners. All right, so I'm gonna ice beam this Pidgeotto up, and these two trainers hopefully supply the remaining XP, EXP that I need uh, in order to get my Blastoise up to my self-required level 48 to continue. Uh, and I might actually switch out to Boulder instead of. Pidgeot next. Maybe not, because I want to use Boulder against Koga. Oh bummer. Speed Pokemon moves are the same element type for more power. Uh, you're a bird Pokemon uh, trainer, though. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? Actually, I haven't. I need to go on Cycling Road, or nor just north of Cycling Road, uh, to do that. And that would be... What route is that? I need to figure that out. Uh, oh, I need to go figure out what route that is exactly. Ay ay ay, that is my fault. I'm not there anyways right now, so I don't have to worry about that. All I have to worry about is eat my chicken wings right now. Down goes that first Spearow. Three more, or two more to go. Do duo. We get one of those in Safari Zone, which I plan on doing so. Uh, I do like Tri Attack, which is interesting how they Dodrio knows Tri Attack. And another Firo to dispose of. So once this Firo goes down, I think I'm going to call it a video uh, for part 33. Uh, moving along pretty quickly. Keeps you know, just flying through this walkthrough. Blastoise should be up to level 48 soon. Shot down in flames or ice. 
Bird Pokemon are my true love. Well, as long as you know. Alright, Route 14 now, and there are new, no items and no new Pokemon on this route that we can run into. Capture, acquire, only new Pokemon trainers to face. So I'll see you guys in part 34. Thanks for watching. Part 33.